All right, Fishaholics, welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm kind of thinking about uh, heading back to the flats and uh, kayaking out there, and then we're probably gonna do some wade fishing and stuff. And I did that like a couple days ago uh, on the Indian River, and I actually did pretty good. I caught snook up to 37 inches, caught uh, jack of all up to 46 inches, and uh, I also saw some really big kudas there cruising on the flats, and I only could get one to bite, and uh, that one unfortunately cut me off, but I did think that uh, the key was uh, fishing with larger bait because I was using like three to four inch uh, finger mullet and I caught some decent sized snook up to like 30 inches and uh, I caught a couple of jacks up to like 20 pounds but uh, the bigger snook would not want to touch it and the kudas didn't want to touch those little mullet but uh, I cast netted some larger mullet and uh, they were like 10 to like 13 inches and the first kuda I cast it at, he ate it and the first big snook I casted it at, he ate it and uh, if you didn't see that video, I'll link it down in the description or somewhere on the screen and at the end of that vid, I caught the 46 inch uh, Jack Creval uh, trolling slash drifting a uh, bigger mullet uh, on a different flat than where I caught the fish previously. So I really kind of want to try and dial in on uh, that last flat that I fished where I caught the bigger Jack. And I also want to see if I can catch maybe some of those bigger Kudas and not get cut off. So I got some wire leader with me and uh, it's about 3 p.m. So we're not going to fish all day. We're just going to get out there and fish, uh, I think, like the entire incoming until uh, it gets dark. So uh, I'm gonna hit the road, uh, but before I do, a huge shout out to Navalis for hooking me up with my outfit, 100% uh, bamboo, and it's super soft, comfortable, protects me from the sun, and a uh, huge thanks to them for supporting the channel. If you guys wanna check them out, just click the link in the description and use my code at checkout to uh, save 15%. And uh, now let's uh, hit the water. I will see you guys there, starting things off, probably uh, trying to catch uh, some bait. So I'll see you then. All right, well, we made it about a mile to our spot here on the flat where we're gonna start fishing. And I could only kayak about half the distance and I had to walk the rest because of how low the tide is. So I'm just gonna throw my shallow water anchor down so the kayak doesn't blow away. Should be good. Put that over there. I'm gonna bust out the cast net. This is uh, eight foot uh, with quarter inch holes. Let's uh, fill up our little bait tank with a bunch of seawater. bunch of mullet right here. <sighs> no mullet. They're too far away. I made a slight move and uh, Got some mullet here, mostly fingers though. All right, got a few larger ones in that last toss. These ones look like eight to 10 inches. Look, look at those. Oh yeah, big fish candy right here. Whew. We're gonna catch something nice on those guys. All right, I think we've got a good amount of mullet to get us going. So I'm just gonna put that there. Let's grab my Dark Matter Fishaholic seven foot inshore heavy action prototype spinning rod. Got it paired up with the number five Visser, 20 pound green moss power pro grade. I'm using a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader and a 5 out or 6 out uh, trocar circle hook and now I'm gonna probably grab out one of the bigger mullets and start exploring along the, across the flat and see what cruises our way that we can pitch at.
perfect. Got a nice snook right here cruising. Oh, he just ate it. He just ate it. He just ate it. Oh my gosh. Big fish. Real big fish. Monster snook. Oh, I gotta keep him away from the pilings. Oh, oh man. Just pulled it right in front of that piling. Oh no. Hard to keep this fish up ahead of this current. Oh gosh, oh, it's waist deep right here. <laughs> Almost went for a swim. Oh gosh, she just found out that she's hooked. She's running now with this current. I'm gaining some line, she's coming back up. Oh yeah, got her up past the rocks. Here's my pelican buddy, trying to get a free snack. Oh, stay hooked baby, stay hooked. I'm gonna let you go. Just wanna get a measure on you. Oh, look at that giant right there. Oh, look at that monster. Okay, zeroed out right there. Oh, 40, baby. Just touching 40. Heck yeah, beautiful 40 inch snook. Oh, so pumped about this. All right, I'm gonna send her back quick, but here's a closer look at this 40 right here. <laughs> so epic. Thanks for playing the game, baby. Get her back. My gosh, the pelican just ate my mullet. There you go, you learned your lesson now. And I lost my bait. All right, well, nothing else. Uh, after we uh, caught the pelican, uh, I finished up all the little finger mullets, and uh, fortunately enough, I was able to catch like five or six more mullet, like nine to 10 inches. So we've got bait, and uh, now we can't really see much of anything on this flat because the sun is getting too low uh, in the sky. So I think the next plan of attack to get one more nice fish, maybe two nice, more nice fish today, is uh, to go out to the outer flat that's closer to the main boat channel and uh, try and like drift, slow troll uh, one of those mullets and see if we can get something big to uh, eat it. So I'll see you guys out there. All right, so I'm gonna throw my mullet out and then put the drive in reverse. And I'm gonna get it out there like 60, 70 yards or so. And I wanna go in reverse because then uh, I'm hoping I could capture 
the strike if it's uh, on top. So it'll be cool if, say, a big jack like erupts on this mullet. Uh, you know, that's always one of the most exciting parts of fishing like this. So let's see what happens. Oh, just got eight. Something pretty good. Oh my gosh. Is that a tarpon? It might be a tarpon. Or it's a big cuda. I have no idea what we have here. Flew out of the water like crazy though. Might be a tarpon. Oh no, it's a big cuda. He's jumping like a tarpon though. <laughs> Surprised he hasn't cut me off yet. Woo! Oh, they know how to rip some dra serious drag. You know, big kudos are definitely underappreciated in this game. Oh, whew. heck yeah. Definitely happy to hook into something like this. Offers uh, up a little bit of variety for the day. Oh. Oh, just cut me off right there. There he goes. All right, well, as you can see, we're losing the film with daylight now, and uh, we're like 100 yards from the launch, and no other bites, just the, the CUDA on the way back, and I'm kind of surprised by that. Uh, we had like a perfect troll slash drift uh, right along the edge of the bow channel and the flat, and uh, I was thinking we would have had at least one jack of all uh, blow up on the bait, but uh, it just didn't happen. So. All in all, uh, decent outing. We didn't catch a lot of fish, but we got some good quality fish. You know, the 40 inch snook and that uh, big cuda, uh, which was probably all of uh, 35, 40 inches. You know, it was a, it was a long, big uh, cuda and uh, it gave us uh, some nice uh, aerial acrobatics. Uh, so that was cool. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more. And I will see you guys in the next video on the water. And like always, live to fish, fish to live.